Hey guys, how's it going? Last video before I head off to Alaska, so there's a few things I gotta whip up here. Uh, these guys here are uh, rails for the stove to keep the uh, pans from moving around. The boat is a little bit short on them and buying these things is ridiculously expensive and they're really hard to get. So I found these little, uh, these are like for hanging like, I guess, K K lights and stuff. Uh, in houses, just a uh, little clamp. So this will go on to the, uh, like the C rail uh, across the top of the stove. Let me see if you guys can see the edge of that table there. And uh, this, the let's say this is the stove top and this is the rail that holds on. Well, this this will go on here and you can, once, once one of these is attached, you'll be able to slide this back and forth to kind of lock your pans in. So um, at first I was going to try to tap these, but the guy gave me the wrong rod and it's just, it, it just won't work. And I can't get it down to 5 sixteenths for the nuts, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the backs of these guys, which is what came with these. I, I added the thumb screws myself. I'm glad I kept these because now I can put them in up here. And I'm actually uh, thinking about reversing them, the stoves in that way. Normally they're like this, but these stick out a little farther than the other ones, even if I cut off the excess. So I can put them inside and tighten them and move them around. So it won't really matter because I'll be able to thread that either direction. So that's one project. The next one is, do you think that I could find a towel rack anywhere? I went to a couple stores. Nobody has anything. So again, we're just going to just go ahead and um, make our own here out of that quarter round bar and then if I have some time I might make up a couple more coat hooks because they seem to be really popular. So I'm just going to come in and uh, get this guy going here and I'm going to just tack that in uh, and, and um, it doesn't have to hold much. So okay let's get going guys. And another thing I wanted to also mention is Jeff at 62 Customs. He was interested in, um, I just thought I would show some of the welding table uh, stuff. This is my third hand here that I made. I'll just kind of show you guys how it was welded up. And, uh, you know, uh, these are just little um, tips. This this here is a little tip for a MIG. The other one is just, it's kind of a metal bronzy stuff. And I made this one of the first uh, projects I ever did, welding. So I really love that. And then I can just... Uh, hook my ground cord, ground onto there, move this around, and put it on my material like this. I'll just put, add it onto there. And the other thing I kind of like is my torch holder. It's a magnet, simple little magnet. And then I just whipped up a, a kind of a little, like a dinosaur hand. So that's cool. And what else? Um, well, you know, this little movable vise is really nice to have around because it holds a lot of stuff. So anyways, uh, let's get started and uh, we'll tack a little bit of this one on here real right. quick. Let's get going on this guy. Yeah, this just needs to barely be tacked. I got to get going on this stuff fast, so I'll just straighten that out a little on the vise. I'm done. So let's just get these guys going because I don't have hardly any time here. Uh, I'd like. There we go. Just like that. that'll do. That'll hold the towel. That's for darn sure. Simple little towel rack. I'll kind of straighten it out and I'll grind okay. up. Uh, let me see if you guys can make sure you get this. Go ahead and blow you in a little closer there. All right, let's go. Get a couple of these done too. Whoop. Third hand. Kind of nice to have it. Kind of nice to have it um, on the material. Sometimes the table's good enough, but we're just going to try to get it on there. 
this shouldn't be just too difficult here. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit and really zap this guy. Yep, no problem. Turn that a little bit. And if I have this little bit of an angle on it like it is, it's perfect because I'm going to have to bend a little angle anyway. So I'm going to keep that. That's perfect. Yep, those will do. show you guys one of these real time here. All right, there's all four of those guys. here we're done okay guys the coat hooks are catching on we've got to do a couple of those too so here I'll try to show you guys this thing hopefully you can kind of see that bring you in and then I'll fill that little teeny gap with the filler wire guys so we got this uh, towel rack done um, we got these guys and we can get now we have a uh, you know keep our pots on so we got four of those done last project and then I even whipped up uh, I had a little extra time so the uh, the coat hooks have been real handy um, so I just whipped up a uh, I didn't have the right brackets for these. I'll show you what I ended up doing with them. Is uh, I had to go a little sideways uh, like that. Uh, let me see if I can get a better angle. I had to do, uh, you know, put them off to the side like that. But that's not, that's kind of okay. That's a little different. They'll still uh, be able to screw in and hold up. And I did these for back on the stern for our rain gear because they were missing a few hooks. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you very much for stopping by and Be safe. Back. And we'll catch you later.